so I'm back today and I'm going to be doing some recreation of two inspirations that I've had lately. I don't know if that makes sense, but I've been so inspired by um, a particular girl's hair, which I'll show you. Yes, I did get my hair cut style or whatever cut and I'm going to style it with you at the end so I won't talk about that yet, but I'm going to talk about makeup first. So. Um, on Facebook, there's this little page I follow and they put like old vintage little like two or three minute clips on um, from back in the day, like 20s, 30s, 40s, and they'll show clips of like how dolls were made in factories or how like um, someone's new kitchen would look in the 50s. I don't know, just weird two to three minute clips. I don't know where they found these. It's really kind of a cool page. Um, and then they put up one like a couple weeks back of a girl, I think it was the 60s, um, I'm not sure if she was French or American, I don't remember which one, but how she did her makeup, and it was so cool, and I was just really, really inspired by it. So for the past week or so, I've been doing my makeup a little bit differently, just based on like her and how I was, how I was inspired by it. It's very, um, it reminds me of like very Sophia Loren, and you guys know I've spoken about Sophia Loren before, and I really think that she's gorgeous, obviously, and I... Like, I don't know, a couple years ago, I think I tried to do my eyebrows or, like her, or my lip. I forget what it was. Um, you guys probably remember. Okay, so I'm going to get going. I've already put on... I'm excited because I have... I've also, like, taught myself some... Okay, I just can't wait to show you. Here we go. So, for the first thing, I already put on lotion and stuff because that's just a waste of time. I put on my Aveda Bright, and I will link everything below that I can. And when I use this, my, my, when I use my Bright every morning, I put it on just here, here, like, at the points that I, I don't put it on everywhere. And then, okay, I'm going to botch the name. This is Sulasu. I think it's how to pronounce it. I'm the worst at this. I use this every single day. It's the Renewing, Renewing Cream EX Light. And I use this every single day. And I really, really love it. I'm really enjoying it. I've, I'm almost out. Like, and I've been, I don't know. I am super, super, like, liberal when it comes to putting creams on my face. You know what I mean? I'm, I do not skimp at all. Okay. So then I'm going to be using my Laneige, Laneige, and this, I love this, it's called the BB Cushion Pore Blur, and um, I do have, like right here, some, you know, like visible pores, and so I'm always kind of self-conscious, oh, I'm not doing that first, I'm going to put this first. This is Artless Glow Base by Heimish, I was sent this by a really cute company, and um, I talked about them on my Instagram, they sent me a cute care package from Hawaii. Okay, so I just put this, actually I probably shouldn't put it there, like just on the front of my face for some glow. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have put it on my pores, but I forgot, I don't think this stuff actually. Okay, that. So, um, then I'm going to put my cushion on, and I don't put the cushion on the way everyone puts cushion on, so I already know I'm doing it wrong, but... I don't actually want to, I know you're supposed to do this, but I don't like the way that looks on me, honestly. I feel like it's a little bit too cakey for me, and when I drag, um, I feel like it comes off uh, nicer on my skin. So I already know I'm doing it wrong, but it works better for me. Okay, so in the video of this girl in the 60s, she used like a black, I don't even know what it was, paint or something, it wasn't like a shadow. I'm using this, this is from an old Too Faced palette. Like, uh, you guys know I don't have like a ton of makeup, like whatever. I'm just looking for a color like this. It's like a dark gray. And I'm just going to do what she did. And I'm using my friend, she's my friend, I call her my friend, um, her brushes. Profound Beauty. She's on here. Her name is Al Reem. I've talked about her before. When I was watching her do her makeup, I feel like everything was very simple. Like, you know, Back then, they didn't have a ton of, I feel like they didn't have a ton of makeup, you know what I mean? Like their colors were very simple and I think you even had makeup like made 
specific for you, like in department stores. But um, I just loved how simple, it wasn't like she had four million palettes with like every color in the f under the fucking sun. Um, and you know, it was simple. Like you didn't wear crazy colors. And like, I just ugh, get so overwhelmed by that blender one. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of blend it. Even though she didn't do this, I am making it my own. So there's no harsh edges. Basically, she just made her eyelids really black. And then she also had like a wing, but I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do the wing. And then at the bottom, do you guys like it? I already love it. I mean, I'm not even done yet. The best is yet to come. The best is coming, okay? So, let me tell you. I, um, I went to Space NK because they were doing that free gift. You know what I mean? Like, the free package gift. And when I go in there, like, when I go anywhere, I don't, I'm so tired. I'm just, like, straight up with people now. Like, I don't like to be pressured into buying things. And I don't want you guys, like, the salespeople to, like, tell me, you know, I feel like a lot of the times salespeople are not telling you like the truth They'll just be like selling you what they need to sell or something. So I don't fall for any bullshit I go in there. I'm like, hey, like I whatever so I needed a mascara and I didn't like any other options. I really just wanted my Givenchy, but I wanted the gift. You know what I mean? so I The lady told me I was like, which is your most popular? Lip, like mascara right now, and I felt like she was being honest. She said this one and actually I bought the full size here um, I bought the full size but this little mini one came in the gift so I was I, tried, I was like I'm gonna try this first to see what I like anyway I fucking hate it it's disgusting it's so stupid it's literally okay what is this what is this you guys rodeal glam lash like this is from CVS I swear to god this is CVS quality <sighs> so mad how did that bitch this is the most popular such a lie it sucks okay um anyway i put it on and it was so horrible that i was like trying to make it work and when in the process of me trying to make it work i came up with the best idea ever let me just do an eye and show you okay this is so good But like, honestly, I'm so, like, bitch, I know you fucking lied to me. Like, there's no way. Okay, let me tell you how ugly this is. Like, that's a good mascara. Are you out of your mind? That looks like complete and total shit. That looks like, that looks like, I literally looks like it was on sale at CVS. After you put on... After you put on mascara and it dries, when it's drying, I'll talk about my um, jewelry. I'm wearing my new Sugar Cube collection. I'm wearing one, two, three, four pieces from it, but there's five in the collection. And I'm wearing, and this is my um, Orion in the delicate long version. So if you like the long delicate, if you like the long Orion, it's called the delicate, I'll put the link below for the long Orion. A lot of you guys have the short Orion too. Um, so pretty. This is a little star. I'm wearing gold today. The star, and this is the pearl and the sugar cube, and this is the blush AB sugar cube, and then I'm wearing the sugar pearl, which is all the pearls are AB color pearls, and they're crystal based. So they're really, really pretty. They're not just like, you know, cost they're costume, obviously, but they're not like a plastic pearl. They're, they're crystal pearls. They're really pretty. And I love it. So pretty and shiny. Okay, um, now it's dry and I'm going to show you guys what I did. So in the process of me trying to like get, trying to remove this mascara because it was so disgusting, I just took this wand and was cleaning it off and it made my lashes look so beautiful. It looked like I did not even put any mascara on. Is this like a known technique? I'm probably going to get like, like literally killed right now by you guys. Okay. I hope you can see the effect, what's, what's going on here and how amazing. And 
up. You guys are gonna be like, all you're doing is brushing out your lashes, Alex. Okay, but I'm not. I'm removing, actually removing the mascara from the tips, but it's still black and the bottoms still have mascara. So it looks like you're not wearing mascara and you were just blessed with this, these amazing lashes when in fact, you don't have good lashes. <laughs> Can you tell? Look at the difference. This looks so wispy and pretty. And this looks, I love a, actually I love like a clumpy, volume, voluminous eyelash, but this is disgusting. It looks, you know there's a difference between a beautiful voluminous mascara lash and like a clumpy, cheap looking CVS lash, and that's this. Oh my God, I love it. Can you tell? Can you tell what I mean? I don't know, I hope you can. Okay, next is eyebrows. And I'm using this little Givenchy Mr. Brow Filler, and this is in the blonde color. And this is not how I typically do my brows, actually, but it's one it's one way I do it. And I'm, I'm very sloppy about it. I don't like perfect brows. I don't like the Kardashian kind of brows. I'm so over that. I'm so over all these like insta whore kind of like sunglasses or um, perfect brows, you know what I mean? Like, ugh, it's just so, they're so obnoxious. I just can't stand when you can, like, when the brow is perfect. It looks, I just, I can't, I can't even do it. I'd rather just, I'd rather have no brows than have those perfect, almost like, they look, they look tattooed or something. I don't like it. The drawn, like, perfectly drawn on ones. I want to look like mine are a mess, and that's my goal. I don't like brush them or anything, you know what I mean? I don't make sure all the hairs are going in one direction. Then I'm going to take um, this pencil and I'm going to kind of draw in if there's any holes, just kind of, I just like bounce it, you know what I mean? I'm not like drawing. See how it looks messy? Okay, I kind of feel like they're perfect right now. Okay, it's a little bit heavy. This is my little cheek color from my friend and from 3CE. I don't know. And three eye contacts or something. I, don't know. So I think I, someone yelled at me last time. Like, That's not my fucking call. I'm just gonna put a really little bit, just like a kiss. Um, and then, you guys know I typically don't wear like lipstick or if I do, I just wear a little bit of like a, an orange or a red on the middle of my lip. Okay, that I was trying to like kind of go with the theme of this. And I have this old Laura Mercier. I talked about it a long time ago. It's the Rose Quartz. And I love it with this color eye. Oh my god, you guys, look at this. I have not had any Botox done in like, since you guys last saw me get it with Johnny, I have not had anything done. Because the only girl I ever go to is Natalie, you guys know that. That Colology, I've gone to her for, I don't know, like since I started like five years ago. And um, she was on maternity, maternity leave. So she's back now, and I'm gonna, I already have an appointment. But, okay, can we talk about this? Look at this, oh my goodness. 
Isn't that horrible? Oh my god. I'm like a real human, you guys. <laughs> okay, anyway. That's what I do for my lips to kind of calm, calm them down a little bit. And that's the look. Okay, now. I'm going to take down my hair. And I'm a little nervous because it's not exactly like I wanted. Let me show you. I'm not sure. Did I show you guys the girl that I really wanted? I'm trying to emulate as far as hair. Her name is Matilda. A-D-J-E-R-F. She's Swedish. This is her. You guys probably know her on Instagram. I showed these bangs to my hairdresser. And I'm not sure why she didn't want to give me like bang bangs. And I'm okay. I'm thankful she didn't because now I've had I, I can like experience it both ways. You guys, don't I look fat? I look fat with lipstick on, don't I? Look at this. Like, I just don't. I feel so fat with lipstick on. I hate it. I think I'll take it off. Okay. Um, so this is what she gave me. She gave me these. And I know they need to be blown out, so I'll do that with you guys. Um, but she, I don't think she cut it enough, did she? Like, this is the thing. I make jewelry all day long so do i want bangs in my eyes no am i gonna want to like pin them back every day like no but at the same time i feel like i have a half-ass look right now you know what i mean i feel like they're not short enough and like okay i'm in the middle of a look i don't know T tell me guys what you think so i can call her back um i'm not sure i'm not sure okay let me fix the bangs with you guys though and she also kind of gave me more layers here in the front, which I'm loving. I just want a different look so bad. I want my long hair, but I'm so, t I, like, I was like, oh my God, this girl has the most beautiful hair ever. It's so 70s. You guys know I die to live in a different era. Like, I want to live in 60s hair. I want to live, or 70s hair. I want to live in, like, 20s time period with, like, 60s makeup. Okay? All right. Let me plug in my fucking hair blood dryer. I'm gonna blow out. I think I'm just gonna take this. Okay, also, you guys can also tell me. I it's I don't typically read long comments because I'm just like, I'm ADD or something. So I really do want your opinions though or your advice. So like, please write me a short comment or one bullet points because I just don't like to read. Like, I was like, after college, I was like, I never read again, I swear. Okay, should I do it like this first? Like, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want her to go shorter now. I don't know how to style this. I don't know what I need. Okay. Also, don't look at the color. Right now, for some reason, in the viewfinder, my hair looks like orange as shit. And I look like shadowy, but it's not. I don't know. Okay. This is like not it, right? You guys, this is not correct. This is not the vibe. What am I doing wrong? Help me. Do I blow it back this way? But then that's like gonna give, I don't want necessarily like this. Did she not cut enough? Like do I need more, is it heavier? What is it? Tell me what I need so I can correct this. some texturizing shit in it hopefully that will help but I think that the things are wrong I'm gonna shoot that dog right now after this my hair is like not right now I'm gonna shoot that dog okay oh this is um Aveda they sent me this yesterday so I'm trying it it's the new texture tonic and it's supposed to give like beachy stuff and I think there's like sugar cane in it which I think is really cool 
Uh, and some of you guys, I showed it on my Insta last yesterday, and some of you guys told me don't use a lot. So I'm not scared. I don't want to have like heavy hair. You guys, I'm losing the vibe. Help me. I mean, it's like nice. It's cute, but it's not what I'm going for, right? Like, why are her her brows are so distinct and mine are getting lost? Is how, what's going on? Help me. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I need help from you guys. I need to get the bangs fixed, I think. What do you think? I need to get them added. I don't know. But at the same time, am I am I really going to add more bangs? I, I don't know. Just better like this. You guys, I'm so depressed right now. I wanted those bangs so bad. Ugh, fuck. for all week. I was waiting for pains and didn't turn them in. What? Mental breakdown. Okay. I'm going to leave you guys with music because music for me is a huge thing. And okay. Did I tell you guys that one time when I was, I swear to God, you guys, I would have bet a million dollars, a million dollars. Not that I have a million dollars, but I would have bet a million dollars that I have a really, really, really good singing voice, okay? Did I tell you guys? Uh, you guys will remember this. So I recorded, my, so I was singing and Nick's telling me like how terrible my voice is. This is like a couple months back. Um, and I was like, fuck you. I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was like, fuck you. I have the best voice ever. You're such a liar, such a liar. I guess when I'm singing, I don't hear how bad I am. So I recorded myself and I listened to myself sing, like I recorded my, my iPhone, I was, devastated. I was literally devastated. I was like sounded worse than a freaking screeching ass cat. Okay. Anyway, but I promise you, I still will not, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe what I heard because yesterday I was singing Paula Abdul straight up. Okay. The song straight up. Okay. This song and okay, I'm gonna stop it. This song, you guys, I had her CD in the 90s when I was like in freaking elementary school. I know every single word just straight up. I know I could sing as good as her. I'm probably, seriously, I know I'm better than her. I can hear it. Yesterday in the car on the way home, there was so much traffic. Paula Abdul came on, changed my freaking mood. I was singing so loud in my car and I know 100% sounded amazing. I know. Okay, Paula Abdul straight up. The next one, okay, I'm not gonna say, okay, Vanessa Williams, I will say she's got a better voice than me, I will admit that. But Save the Best for Last came on too, and you guys, like, I know, I, I know I can give her a run for her money, like, I really think I could. <laughs> like, I really think I could, though. I, this song. I sound, I, I sound like this, I know I do. I know I do. I can feel it. It's so depressing. You guys, if I ever have a little girl, I'm gonna put her in singing lessons. I want her, I, I, I want someone to have this talent. I, I just had no idea that like song, uh, singing was a God-given talent. And it obviously is because I could never in a million years sing like these girls. Okay, Stevie Wonder I've been listening to. Um, which songs? This one. <sighs> My Sherry Amour. I see I can't compete with a guy. I can only compete with a girl. Okay. Um and I like this one too. But I think you guys have heard me listen to this song before. This song is amazing. If you're feeling like really depressed. If you're feeling really depressed, that will make you even more depressed, but, okay. Um, and Diana Ross, I listened to this in my last vlog. Upside down. Okay, I can't play these for too long because I'm not sure if I'll, I'm allowed to. Okay, and then, oh my God, you guys, my, okay. I am in love with this song right now, Drowning. Who is this? Uh, 
Is this his name? A boogie with the hoodie? What the fuck that is? I don't know what I want to say. It. I probably sound like such a modern white girl. Okay. Featuring Kodak Black. I don't... I. This song, I don't have this on repeat all the time. I love it. I love that song. I love that song. I love it. Okay. So that song... And I also love this song, Sophia Loren, from, it's from her, um, it's from her, one of her movies. Which movie is it? Oh, the one with Clark Gable. I forget. Take five. This one. Oh, okay. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what it is about the song. I, okay, this song, for some reason, I just feel like when I'm listening to it, I feel so accomplished. I don't know what the hell that even means. It's jazz. I, lo I love it. Okay, anyway, this song goes on and on. You guys know it. Your dad probably listened to it. You know what I mean? It's like 1971. Okay, so love these jams. You guys need them. Get this playlist. Go get proper bangs. Put this makeup on. And pretend like you don't live in this freaking stupid year. Okay, <laughs> let's live in the past because it's way better. Oh, okay, I'm in a better mood. Except I wish I had the bangs. I'm actually really upset because I really was like so stoked to like show you guys my new look my new inspo makeup i'm like jamming on this playlist anyway okay i love you guys and i'm like kind of crazy today um i go check out the jewelry i will put all my links to my jewelry below it's so pretty um i am not gonna have lunch today i'm going to have like a very dry salad because i'm going out for dinner tonight so i have to save the calories and i gotta feel that hunger burn you guys know that because the only way i'm gonna lose weight and okay, I love you guys so much. Have an amazing weekend. And I'm really sorry my bangs didn't work out to show you. I will I will um, stay up to date with you guys on that. Bye.